summer 2022. Remember that? We were all a little younger then, and so was the universe. At least that's what we thought. We had the Hubble Space Telescope showing us amazing things. We felt pretty good about our understanding of the cosmos. Then came JWST, the James Webb Space Telescope. Suddenly the universe got a lot more interesting, and a lot more mysterious. JWST is a time machine. It sees in infrared light which travels further than visible light. This lets us see objects so distant, so old, they existed shortly after the Big Bang. These first images from JWST were breathtaking. But for scientists they were also baffling. They revealed a universe that shouldn't exist according to our current understanding. A universe older and more developed than we ever imagined. This is the crisis in cosmology. What we see through JWST doesn't match what we thought we knew. This isn't just tweaking a theory here or there. This is a fundamental challenge to our understanding of the universe itself. Buckle up folks, things are about to get cosmic. Let's talk about the Big Bang. It's the prevailing theory for the origin of the universe. Basically everything started from a single point incredibly hot and dense. Then it rapidly expanded and cooled, forming galaxies, stars, planets, and eventually us. The Big Bang theory is supported by lots of evidence. We see galaxies moving apart from each other, suggesting an expansion. We observe the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang itself. But JWS throws a wrench into the works. Its first deep field image showed us thousands of galaxies. Many were much farther away than anything Hubble ever saw. This means they formed much earlier in the universe's history. But these galaxies were also surprisingly large and well-developed. They shouldn't exist so early on, according to the Big Bang timeline. It's like finding a fully grown oak tree where you only planted an acorn yesterday. This discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. It's forcing us to rethink our assumptions about the early universe and how quickly galaxies could form. The universe, it seems, had a head start, but how? Let me introduce you to Rohan Naidu. He's an astronomer who made an incredible discovery using JWST data. He found a galaxy called Glass Z13, the most distant galaxy ever observed. Now, when we talk about distant objects in space, we're also talking about time. Light takes time to travel. So, the farther away something is, the longer it took for its light to reach us. We're seeing that object as it was in the past. Glass Z13 is so far away that we're seeing it as it was just 300 million years after the Big Bang. That's incredibly early in the universe's 13.8 billion year history. And here's the kicker. Glass Z13 isn't some tiny infant galaxy. It's already massive and forming stars at a rapid rate. This challenges our understanding of how quickly galaxies could form in the early universe. The Big Bang theory suggests it should have taken much longer for galaxies like this to emerge. The existence of Glass Z13 and other early galaxies like it suggests that maybe, just maybe, we've got the timeline wrong. The universe might be older than we think, or maybe galaxies formed much faster than we previously thought possible. Either way, it's a cosmic puzzle we're just beginning to unravel. Galaxies aren't the only things challenging our cosmic understanding. JWS has spotted supermassive black holes that seem too big for their age. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. They form when massive stars collapse at the end of their lives. Supermassive black holes are millions or billions of times the mass of our sun. JWS found supermassive black holes just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. How could they grow so large so quickly? Current theories suggest it shouldn't be possible, it just doesn't add up. These discoveries force us to rethink our ideas about the cosmos. The Big Bang not the whole story? What do these discoveries mean for the Big Bang theory? Should we throw it out? Not so fast. The Big Bang theory explains many observed phenomena. It explains the universe's expansion, the cosmic microwave background radiation, and the abundance of light elements. But JWS suggests the Big Bang might not be the whole story. It's like a puzzle with a few pieces that don't fit. Maybe the Big Bang was just one stage in a grander evolution. Perhaps there was something before the Big Bang, or a period of rapid expansion called inflation. JWS shows the universe is full of surprises. It's challenging us to question our assumptions and be open to new possibilities. The Big Bang theory might need revisions, or it might be just a chapter in a larger cosmic narrative. Rewriting the Rules of the Cosmos The discoveries made by JWST aren't just about distant galaxies and black holes, they have profound implications for our understanding of physics itself. Our current understanding of physics is based on two pillars, Einstein's theory of general relativity which describes gravity on a large scale and quantum mechanics, 
which describes the behavior of matter and energy at the atomic and subatomic levels. These two theories have been incredibly successful in explaining a wide range of phenomena, but they don't always play well together. They break down in extreme environments such as the very early universe or inside black holes. The discoveries made by JWST are providing us with a glimpse into these extreme environments, and what we're seeing suggests that our current understanding of physics might be incomplete. For example, the existence of early supermassive black holes challenges our understanding of how quickly black holes can grow. It might require modifications to general relativity or the development of entirely new physics to explain. Similarly, the existence of early galaxies challenges our understanding of how quickly structures can form in the universe. It might require modifications to our understanding of dark matter and dark energy, the mysterious substances that make up the vast majority of the universe. Section 6. Rewriting the Rules of the Cosmos The discoveries made by GWST aren't just about distant galaxies and black holes, they have profound implications for our understanding of physics itself. Our current understanding of physics is based on two pillars, Einstein's theory of general relativity, which describes gravity on a large scale, and quantum mechanics, which describes the behavior of matter and energy at the atomic and subatomic levels. These two theories have been incredibly successful in explaining a wide range of phenomena, but they don't always play well together. They break down in extreme environments such as the very early universe or inside black holes. The discoveries made by JWST are providing us with a glimpse into these extreme environments, and what we're seeing suggests that our current understanding of physics might be incomplete. For example, the existence of early supermassive black holes challenges our understanding of how quickly black holes can grow. It might require modifications to general relativity or the development of entirely new physics to explain. Similarly, the existence of early galaxies challenges our understanding of how quickly structures can form in the universe. It might require modifications to our understanding of dark matter and dark energy, the mysterious substances that make up the vast majority of the universe. The Expanding Universe, A New Perspective One of the fundamental implications of these discoveries relates to the expansion of the universe. We know the universe is expanding because we observe galaxies moving away from us, and the farther away they are, the faster they're moving. This expansion is thought to be driven by a mysterious force called dark energy, which makes up about 70% of the universe's total energy density. However, recent observations of distant galaxies by JWST have thrown a wrench into our understanding of this expansion. These observations suggest that the universe might be expanding faster than we previously thought. This discrepancy, known as the Hubble tension, has puzzled cosmologists for years. It could be due to systematic errors in our measurements or it could point to a fundamental flaw in our understanding of the universe's expansion history. If the universe is indeed expanding faster than we thought, it could have profound implications for our understanding of dark energy and the ultimate fate of the universe. It could also require modifications to our current cosmological models. Dark matter and dark energy, even more mysterious, the discoveries made by JWST have also deepened the mystery surrounding dark matter and dark energy. These two enigmatic entities make up the vast majority of the universe's mass and energy, yet we know very little about them. Dark matter doesn't interact with light so we can't see it directly. We know it exists because of its gravitational effects on visible matter such as stars and galaxies. Dark energy, on the other hand, is thought to be responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe. It's a repulsive force that counteracts gravity on cosmic scales. The discoveries made by JWST such as the existence of early galaxies and the Hubble tension have raised new questions about the nature of dark matter and dark energy. For example, the early galaxies suggest that dark matter might have played a more significant role in the early universe than we previously thought. Similarly, the Hubble tension could indicate that dark energy might not be a constant force but rather something that evolves over time. These are just some of the many questions that JWST's discoveries have raised about dark matter and dark energy. Unraveling these mysteries is crucial to advancing our understanding of the universe's fundamental constituents. A universe full of surprises. The James Webb Space Telescope is a game changer. It's not just giving us sharper images, it's revealing a universe that's far more complex and mysterious than we ever imagined. From ancient galaxies to supermassive black holes, JWST's discoveries are forcing us to rethink our most fundamental ideas about the cosmos. The universe it seems is full of surprises. 
it doesn't always play by the rules we thought we understood, and that's what makes cosmology so exciting. We're constantly learning, constantly revising our understanding and constantly pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. The discoveries made by JWST are just the beginning. As we continue to observe the universe with this incredible instrument, we can expect even more surprises, more mysteries and more challenges to our current understanding of the cosmos. The future of cosmology. So, what's next for cosmology? What are the big questions that astronomers and physicists will be grappling with in the years to come? First and foremost, we need to figure out how to reconcile JWST's observations with our existing theories. Do we need to modify the Big Bang theory? Do we need to rethink our understanding of gravity, dark matter, and dark energy? We'll need more data, more observations, and more theoretical work to answer these questions. We'll also need to develop new instruments and telescopes that can peer even deeper into the universe and provide us with even more information about its early history. The future of cosmology is bright, full of exciting discoveries and profound insights. We're living in a golden age of astronomy, and thanks to JWS, we're poised to make unprecedented progress in our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Our place in the cosmos. In the grand scheme of things, we humans are just tiny specks on a tiny planet orbiting a rather ordinary star in a vast and ancient universe. Yet we have the incredible capacity to wonder, to explore, and to understand. The discoveries made by JWST are a testament to the power of human curiosity and ingenuity. They remind us that there's still so much we don't know about the universe and that there's always more to discover. As we continue to explore the cosmos and unravel its mysteries, we're not just learning about the universe out there, we're also learning about ourselves, our place in the cosmos, and the very nature of reality itself. And that, my friends, is the ultimate adventure.